What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Satem Mangala, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, the power of a reframe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Life happens. And typically when life happens, it's always, almost always not what we prefer. What do I mean by that? Think about your life right now. There's stuff happening over and over and over in your life today. You are at where you are at, where you, wherever you're listening to this podcast. You could be in the gym, you could be driving. And the real question is, what is happening? Now, the problem is, is that most people attach meaning and stories to things that have no business having meaning and stories attached to it. Let me give you some examples here. When I lost everything back in 2008, 2009, and then into 2010 when I filed my bankruptcy, what happened was, well, I lost money. I lost business. I lost property. Like, that's what happened. But the problem was that I was attaching stories and meanings to what happened that weren't true. They weren't relevant. They weren't powerful. They weren't empowering. I attached victim stories, blaming stories, excuses stories. And this is what we all do in our lives. I I started to say, well, maybe God doesn't want me to be wealthy. Isn't that kind of funny? Or maybe like, I remember when I wasn't married yet and I was single. And I continued to say things like, well, maybe I'm not supposed to get married. Maybe I'm just never going to find that person. See, what happens is what happens. The problem is... We put a negative or a scarcity, fear, lack, doubt, spin up perspective on it. So what's the power of a reframe? Well, you know, I attended this program called Wake Up Warrior, my man Garrett White, two and a half years ago. And he learned this thing from something called Strategic Coach, which is from Dan Sullivan. So, right, there's just coaching upon coaching upon learning upon growth, expansion, And the power of a reframe is now what today is what I call and what it was taught to me. It's called a positive focus. See, in this podcast, you're going to learn how to reframe things so that you don't fall into this downward spiral of negativity and scarcity, but rather you can spin and reframe everything so that it's really good for you. And once you learn how to do that, everything becomes empowering. Everything becomes positive. Everything becomes powerful. No more victim stories. No more blaming other people. So how does a positive focus work or the power of the reframe? Well, it's simple. There's four key words. What, why, lesson, apply. What, why, lesson, apply. I said a what, why, lesson, apply. I said a what, why, lesson, apply. What, why, lesson, apply. Say those words. Come on now. What, 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 what? Why, 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 why? Lesson, 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 lesson. Apply, 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 apply. So what happened? Right? The what is the what happened? And I'm not talking about the story or meaning about what happened. I mean just what happened. Just the event. Strip all the emotions Strip everything and meanings and and frustration. Let's just say, what happened? I filed the bankruptcy. Okay. Like, that's what happened. And see, we we can stop anywhere in our lives and say, what happened? Oftentimes with children, we get angry, we get frustrated, we get pissed off because, right, what happens is, well, our kids aren't listening. Well, they're not listening. But we attach all these crazy meanings and stories. Whoa, my kids are so bad and being a parent, they're so hard. Dude, what happened is they, they're not listening. What happened is I ate chocolate cheesecake. Right? And, and we go back and forth. What happened is, and it's just the event with no stories, no made up meanings. It's just what happened. You got it? All right, next part of the power, the reframe. Why? Right? What, why lesson play? Why, why is that positive? Why is that empowering? Why is that significant? Why? So you got what happened and why it was positive. What happened and why it was positive. Now, and you know, sometimes you just use words like empowering. Why is this empowering? Now, I'm going to give you an example of what this looks like here in just a moment. So stay with me. What happened in your life? It could be anything. My boys were late to school this morning. 
Now, in the past, you, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. My gosh, we gotta hurry up. We're always late. Or you just say, what happened to me? My, my kids were late. No story, no meaning. Just what was the event? What, why was that empowering? Why was that positive? Why was that significant? Again, you can use multiple words in the why. Well, why that was pow- empowering? Well, we went to Disney last night. We celebrated my son's birthday. We didn't get home till like 1030. It was late. And y- y'all know how that works. Late night means the next, and you can't, I'm not going to blame my children. I can't say, well, you guys didn't get up early and we went, we went to Disney. So that's why it's empowering. We spent time as a family last night. Why is it positive? My boys are tired. They need some sleep. So we got what, why, lesson, apply. What's the lesson? Hmm. Now here's, here's kind of the trickier one because most people have a very difficult time finding a lesson inside of events. Listen, the lesson, like most people will start off like in that specific situation, meaning the lesson, don't go to Disneyland. No, I want you to go up to like 30,000 feet and I want you to get a general lesson or a principle, right? What's a principle? Principle is a, a truth that is packaged in a way that can be applied to certain or all situations. So what happened? My boys were late to school. Why is that empowering? Well, they needed the rest. We went to Disneyland. That's on me as a father for taking my kids out to Disney and watching the parade and the fireworks and getting home and eating all kinds of junk food. In fact, my four-year-old threw up this morning. That's how much junk we ate yesterday. It was his birthday. All right, so I want to keep it simple. What happened? My kids, my kids woke up late. Why is that positive or empowering? They needed some rest because we were out. They, there's a cause and effect here. What's the lesson So I want to find a general lesson here. Hmm. The lesson is sometimes you need to... No, actually, I I got a lesson. Cause and effect. There is a cause and effect. There is an effect that comes from every cause. There is a fruit that comes from every root. There is a reward that comes from every belief and action. Cause and effect. So I take my general lesson, there's, there's a, a result for every action. There is an effect for every cause. Now, what why lesson apply? Apply. How would I apply that lesson to my body, my spirituality, my relationships, and my financial arena of life? The four parts, right? Body, being, balance, business. Fitness, faith, family, finance. Whatever words you want to use. And I want to apply this lesson, so let's just do that right now. How would I apply the lesson? Well, to my body. Well, dude, if I want to be lean, there, if that, the effect is to be lean and healthy, the cause, I better work out and I better eat right. Spirituality. If I want to be connected to God, what's the, the cause of that? Well, I've got to pray, meditate, worship, study. I put myself in a situation that allows me to be in tune with the divine. With my relationships, if I want an epic marriage, I better water my wife. I better love on her, touch her, kiss her. If I want to have an epic relationship with my boys, the cause is I better take them out on dates, talk with them, teach them, love them, make them do work, like lead by example. And in business, what's the effect? Well, I want money. If I want money, I've got to go create value, create, communicate, and deliver value to the marketplace. There's my positive focus. What, why lesson applied? Now, look how cool that is. Right, what, why lesson apply? What, why lesson apply? What, why lesson apply? What, why lesson apply? This is the positive focus. I can take any event and I refer it. Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, I teach this to every one of my clients. It is one of the most powerful tools that you'll use, and if you use it, it works. It really does. If you don't, it won't. So, a positive focus will allow you to reframe everything inside of your life. I love it. I have every one of my clients do this. So will you do it? Will you use a positive focus? The power of the reframe. And it can be anything. Right? Anything that happens to you, what, why, lesson, plot. I said what, why, lesson, plot. The power of the reframe works, my brothers and sisters. I do one, well, pretty much every single day. And I don't just do it mentally. I actually write it out every single day. What happened? Because when you start to drift and go into victim mode, oh my gosh, life is horrible. It's because you create stories and means that have no business being a story and a meaning to, to an event that was just an event. All right, let's go back to the one I talked about earlier. What happened? Dude, lost all my money. 
Why is that powering, powerful and empowering and positive and significant? When, again, whatever word you want to use, why is that powerful? Because I'm in charge of my life. I made the choices. What's the lesson here? Make better choices. I chose to invest in real estate. I chose to invest in properties. I chose to invest in investments and didn't work out. That's not on God. That's on me. How would I apply this to my body? Make better choices with my eating, with my workouts. How would I apply this to my being? Um, make better choices when it comes to being spiritually in tune and making choices that allow me to have what I want spiritually. How would I apply this to my relationships, my marriage and my family? Make choices that allow my marriage to grow, that allow me to honor my wife, that allow me to honor my children. Make choices as a father to breathe and to be patient and to teach and to lead by example with business. Make the choices that will put all kinds of money in my bank account because I'm helping other people. Principle number eight, dollars follow value. If I'm not making money, shoot, I'm not choosing to create and communicate and deliver value. Really simple. Brothers and sisters, that's the game. Here's the question. Will you do it? Will you do it? Of course, you know how this works. If you want help with this, there's going to be a form on the podcast directly beneath this on my page. Fill it out. Let's have a conversation. My job is to help people. Will you be one of them? This is your boy, Satamangala, reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day to get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promises, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.